Okay, we're here behind the scenes with Mary and Mary Mary Laventure. Laventure. Uh, yes, and we're back here. Would Would you call us the costume department? Yes, this costume department back here at the pageant of the masters. What's the most challenging portion of creating a costume that's going to be viewed probably a hundred, two hundred feet away on a lit stage? <laughs> um, you know, each each painting and sculpture is different, so we evaluate each one, see what elements we can can do to make it either if it's for a painting to make it look flat or if it's for a sculpture to make it look dimensional. So we have to, we, each one is a different, each one is a different challenge. Ooh, now you said sculptured as well as soft. Now what is the difference, I mean, we're watching it on video, but what's the difference when you're creating it? Well, if it's going to be a, in a painting, we want to take that three-dimensional person and make them look as two-dimensional as possible. Okay. So the, um, you can see here where things are painted on, the shadows are painted on because we want to make it look flat. So we want the shadows that the artist painted in his painting to show up. Okay. When it's a sculpture, we want it to look sculptural because we want it to have dimension like the sculpture has dimension. Now what are these different, the sculpture and the clothing, what piece is this from? This is from a piece called a Dutch courtyard. Um, there's a um, it's called a Dutch courtyard. Uh, it's by um, uh, Peter de Bush. and this is for um, the tomb of Gileon de Medici. And so, one of the things that you have is you have a photograph. Right, and that's what we build everything from, is a front photo. Wow, and how long have you been doing this, Mary? I've been here 16 years. Can we get a... Whoa, 16 years? You know what? Pageant of the Masters, it really is a tradition, isn't it? It is. Well, this is the, you know, one of the, the 80th, uh, 80th anniversary for the Festival of Arts. Next year will be 80th for Pageant of the Masters. Now, as a volunteer for 16 years, oh, Oh, well, well, no wonder why, because most, actually, you guys have so many volunteers. We do. We use about 800 volunteers each year, um, but there's about 20 of us on staff that build the show. Oh. And the, the, the volunteers are cast and crew. So what's the most challenging part in recreating it each year? Um, you know, I think it's just... Um, you know, finding ways, finding new materials, finding ways to make things better, you know, mm -hmm. always trying to find it, you know, how can we make it look flatter, or how can we make it look more dimensional, what new materials are on the market that we can use. Okay. So it's just, you know, it's continual, and studying each piece, you know, yeah. so that you know, you know what the piece is supposed to be, and how it looks. And about how many volunteers do you have this year, and... Are you accepting any more volunteers? We always are taking more volunteers. Um, we probably will use, end up using about 800 people as volunteers this year, um, but we, we can always use more people. That's right, and if they want to find out more information, Mary, where's the best place to go? Um, we call the casting office, um, and I don't know their number by heart. But you can go to the, the website for Pageant of the Masters. Yes, it's, it's um, www.fompoa.com. Perfect. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome.